Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a makeup tutorial because I haven't done one in like 50,000 years. This was just my interpretation of an everyday natural look. And I use the term natural very loosely, just like my asshole. Obviously this is not like natural as such, but it's something that's for me quite natural because I love to do like the whole dramatic stuff with like the the bold lips and the bold eyes and just everything looking just this is something I feel like is more toned down for me because I don't usually do such muted colors but yeah um, I like it it's very pretty I look I just it's it's pretty I actually wore blush today something I never do I decided to wear blush just to sort of soften everything a little bit and I wore a baby pink and I wore just like a natural brown bronze eye with a wing so if you are interested in finding out how I got this then please keep on watching so the first thing I want to do is I want to fill in my eyebrows so I am going to be using the Benefit Cabral to fill in my eyebrows. I prefer the Anastasia um, Dip Brow Pomade to this, but I thought I'd better start using something different. Actually, no, fuck this shit. Bitch, I'm gonna use what works. So, we're going to be going in with the same old Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. God damn. So basically what I do is I take a little bit and I literally start from the ends and I use all the product at the ends and try and use as little as I can towards the like center of the brow and I always brush the hairs up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start filling that shit in okay oops I just went a little bit wet a little bit too thick oh you're joking <laughs> this is what you don't want to do what you do want to do is sort of try your damn hardest to follow your natural brow. Okay, so I know these are not twins and they are not sisters either. But what I like to do is I like to go and fix it up with a bit of concealer. So I'm going to be using this sh the, the, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It is absolutely full coverage and it's just real hardcore stuff. So what I'm going to do is start carving out my preferred shape. Don't forget to draw underneath as well. Do the same on the other side. And once they are like semi-related, then what you want to do is you want to blend all that white out. So I got a different lady to do my eyebrows this week and I don't know, not used to the shape that she's done. She didn't even ask me what like shape I wanted so <laughs> pretty much stuck with these brows and it was my mum's idea that we go to a new woman. I just feel like the brows are uneven. I might just zoom y'all in a little bit. That's better. So once that's done, <clears throat> this is as good as we're going to get today because my eyebrows just have the weirdest shape. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to take some primer. I've just been using the Benefit Professional for like ages just because it's just amazing. It's just great. It's really expensive though. But it's worth it, I would say. And you don't need a lot. But I always just use a lot anyway because I've got a humongous face. I think I might have put a little bit too much on my hand. Oh well. Fuck it. Oh great, I've got it in my fucking eyebrows. That's just amazing. I love when that happens. After that, I like to take the Morphe 6C color correcting wheel. Girls, you pretty, you won't have to do this. But what I like to do is I like to get a brush and I like to use it to cover up my beard area because no one wants to see that shit. So what you do is you take, take a little bit and just spread it all around, spread that shit. And what this does is it covers, I don't know if I've, I've mentioned this before on my channel, but what it does is, so beards have blue undertones, okay? Like facial hair has blue undertones. And when you're putting on like foundation over the top of like a beard, like if you've got a strong like shadow, you know? It'll just look like you've got like this blue beard underneath your makeup. Like it just looks, it just looks odd. I learned this from like 
watching tutorials on YouTube, like drag queen makeup tutorials. They like they do this to cover up the beard, and it it works. I've been doing this for ages. It really works because the orange. You can even use red. But like pretty much orange and red cancel out the blue undertones of the beard. So you've got you've got what you've got here. And basically what you do is you just go over the top of that with foundation and you're a woman. So I'm just taking the Kat Von D Locket foundation and look what the fuck happened yesterday. I dropped it and the fucking the bottle cracked and I'm not happy. We're gonna go with two and a half pumps and we're just going to And once you think you're done blending, blend some more because you can never be too careful. And once it's all good and done, what you want to do is you want to take some concealer and start highlighting your face. So I'm just using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And I'm just going to go down the bridge of the nose. Avatar arrow on the forehead, cupid bow, side of the lips, chin. What you want to do is blend that out first. And then you want to continue on the rest of your face. So what you, the next place to do would be under the eyes. Then you want to quickly blend that out and set it as quickly as you can just to avoid any like creases under the eyes. Oh bitch. So I just use the Coty Airspun Translucent Powder. What I'm going to do is quickly pour some of that out. See it under my eyes with it. I'm just going to continue blending. And the key is to just push it into your skin. Push the powder into it and that way it will set. And then just taking a fluffy brush, set your face with the rest of that. And once that's all set, what you're going to go on to next is contour. So I just use the Kat Von D shade and light palette. It is just to die for. It is amazing. And I take the shade Shadow Play, which is the one in the middle, this one here. And I like to contour my face with that shade. So what I do is I go right underneath that cheekbone, like right underneath that. Sort of blend it as much as you can so that it's not looking muddy. I apologize for these dogs, hey. These dogs. So what I do after that is I like to apply a little bit of eyeshadow just to just so that you're up it's it's just so that you don't feel naked because sometimes you know you can feel naked without eyeshadow. So what I do is I just prime my eyelids with a bit of the same concealer that I used before, blend that shit out. And I'm going to be using the Kylie Jenner Bronze Palette, and I'm just going to take this white shade. It's called Jasper, I believe. I don't know. It's this white shade here anyway, and I'm just going to set my eyelids with that. I swear to God, those dogs bark at nothing. So, for my transition shade, I'm going to be using this light brown shade here. And just going to run that through my crease. And once you've got that in your crease, you're just going to take some of this orangey shade. Remembering that blending is key. Sorry, I just had to zoom out a little bit because I was feeling a bit like the camera was all up in my face. And then we're just going to be using our fingers to be to put this shade here on our eyelids. I believe it's called Tiger Eye. Okay, maybe not our fingers. Land in the edges of that out. And just to highlight the inner corners of my eyes, I'm going to be using this shade right here. Don't know what it's called. It's just the, the shiny one in the middle. And after that, just putting some of this orange shade mixed with some of this, just under our eyes. 
and taking some of this dark brown shade mixed with a bit of the black and putting that underneath in the little outer corner area. This looks horrible. And even actually just taking it a step further and putting some of the dark brown shade on your outer corner at the top and just blending that out with a little Morphe brush. Then we're just going to do some winged eyeliner. Well, I'm just going to take the Kat Von D tattoo liner in the colour Trooper and I'm going to do some winged eyeliner. So wish me luck, girl. You know, honestly, not my best work, but they are wings and they are here to stay. Why do I look so fucking orange? Oh well, don't give a fuck. So I'm just going to put some mascara on. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Next, I like to put on some blush. I like to use the Becca Jaclyn Hill collaboration palette. Where is she? This pink shade and this brown shade mixed together go amazingly on my cheeks. And then I like to highlight my face using the same palette and just dipping into the champagne pop car. And last but not least, a nice gorgeous nude lip. I'm just going to be using a bit of Jeffree Star's mannequin on the lips. And then just a little bit of this pink shade. This is Colourpop First Base. A bit of Fix Plus. Just to hydrate my ass. And then a bit of the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. Gorgeous. And that was the final look. If you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, then please click subscribe. And as always, don't forget to share this with all your friends so they can see my ugly face.